Hello, welcome to this short video in which I'm going to talk through the setup of a firepower management center and how to connect in a firepower threat defense firewall for management via the center. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin. I am a CCIE based in the UK. I'm a network and security consultant currently working for a Cisco Gold partner. Now, if you like these type of videos with uh, Cisco security, I do a lot on automation and Ansible and Python, then please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post more videos. So with that said, let's get into today's video in which we've got a firepower management center uh, running here and I've got a firepower threat defense firewall running here. Uh, this is running virtually in EVENG. Um, if you've not heard of EVENG, uh, check it out. I'll pop a link down in the description. It's a fantastic platform for running virtual test lab devices, modeling networks. Um, I've downloaded the virtual devices from the Cisco website and I've got them installed and running here. Now the FMC is over here. So I'm just going to log into my FMC. Now there are two ways to manage the FTD firewall. Uh, you can either manage it locally, uh, so that's uh, using the web page of that device, or you can use this, the Cisco Firepower Management Center, which is a way to manage a group of devices and push common policies to all of them. You can get all the information back on what they're all doing. Um, it's a much more scalable solution for enterprise security. Uh, if you want to do this, the virtual device will let you manage up to 25 devices. Uh, anything over that, you'll have to go for a physical appliance. So as you can see here, we've got no information, no data, uh, and there are no devices added. Now to add this firepower threat defense firewall, you need to do a couple things first to prepare the device. Uh, once you get it, if you've got a physical one and you've got it out of the box, then you will have to switch it on, uh, console in, you'll be asked to accept a license agreement and give it a management address and change your local password. And that will get you to this screen. Uh, so I've given this an IP address and now I have to tell it what the IP address of the Firepower Management Center is. So just to validate we don't have anything configured at the moment, I type in show managers and this will say there are no managers configured. So to add the manager, you use the man configure manager and then you add and you can see here we've got an option to delete or local. Now if you just said local there, then you would manage this device locally with its web page. So you just point a browser to the IP address of that device and then you can manage it and do what you like. Uh, but if you want to scale this and manage multiple devices, the Firepower Management Center is the way to go. Uh, so we're just going to add it to be managed now. So we do configure, manager, add, uh, then the IP address of the FMC which is 192.168.1.231 and then the final bit is a key so I'm just going to put Cisco 123 for now so that's now told the device that that's the IP address of the management center and that's the key to use so when I configure the firepower management center in a minute I'm going to put in the IP address of the firewall and also that key and then they will set up a tunnel between them for the purpose of management. Now if I just say show managers you can see now there is one manager configured and it's in a pending state. Now I will say also one for to, to manage these boxes via the FMC you do have to use the management interface on the firewall. Now we're going to jump over to the FMC and just go up to devices and device management. And here you can see that there are no devices configured when this loads up. Uh, there is one thing that I did do, which I'll just mention is if you've got this running as a lab, 
and you've just installed it or if you've just set this up in production and you're, you're trying it out uh, you do need to license this box to be able to add a device now if you go down the official license route you've bought a license then this is where you'd add it in the smart license um, the button's gone at the moment but there was here and a button that said evaluation uh, you just need to click on that button so that was in uh, licenses over here and smart licenses and then you just click on the evaluation button and then that gives you 90 days um, evaluation of this product so with that said let's go back into the device management and now I'm going to add the device so we click on here add device and very simply 192.168.1.233 let's check that was the note 1.177 so the IP address of the firewall uh, the display name that you want to put in here the registration key which you entered earlier uh, here you can add a group uh, we can define these later so you can group the firewalls into different groups different countries different areas and the final thing is to create a an access control policy now this doesn't actually contain any information at the moment but you do have to just define a name of a policy uh, this point you can license for malware threat detection and url filtering um, we're not going to do that today um, and then we just hit register now this process now takes a couple minutes uh, just to add that device it discovers it and once it's discovered the device it'll set up a secure tunnel between the fmc and your firewall and then you can then start managing it and doing the configuration of the rest of the firewall now this has started we'll go back into the ftd and just check now if we'll say show managers it you'll say it's still pending so when it's actually configured this will go to a completed status so we are still in a pending state we haven't added it yet so the device registration is now completed um, it adds the device and now it starts to pull all the information back from the device and discovering it making sure uh, it's got the right software and if we go back here now this will now say completed so show managers there we go that says completed now so that's all successful and the little spinny wheel here and we're now getting the device information and once all the information has come back this will go green we'll get a tick and then we'll be able to manage this device we'll be able to configure it so as I said we are doing this over the management interface so when I set this up in EVE we are going over the management interface back into this NAT cloud which goes to my internal lab network when you do this for real on physical devices again you have to manage them on the management interface if you are using the FMC uh, the reason for this is that you could push a policy you could push the policy wrong and actually cut yourself off from the device uh, if you do it straight from the management port it's out the way uh, you can post this device out and you can configure it without any inside or outside networks up so now we can see I've got a green tick here and the device is in it's in rooted mode and to start that configuration you click on the little pencil here and you can see now we can actually go in and start to configure interfaces so this is where you would put the IP address on of the outside interface and start your configuration now this does seem a little bit clunky uh, because we've done all this work ideally you just want to take a config now and paste it in uh, that's not how the FMC works but in the next video I'm going to show you something great which is a Python script uh, which will then connect into the FMC and do all of this configuration work for you so I'm going to park this video here 
Um, join me in the next one where we do go into an automated setup of this part of the firewall. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.